Hello, Justin back for another pack a day video. Today is October 21st, 2023. Bear with me for this video. It's going to be a little bit longer. When I got some cool things to share, um, I got an eBay mail day to open. Um, then we'll talk a little bit of baseball. Um, but yeah, first things first, let's actually open my eBay mail here. Anyways, um, I found this card on auction. I was the only bidder at 99 cents, so I went ahead and picked it up. And um, here we go. It's a Hunter Green Rookie Chrome Purple Refractor. So. <laughs> what is up with this card sleeve? Lots well, decent uh, packaging here. I'm going to have to give this guy a good review. Honestly, if you get the card here and it's in good shape, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me how you get it here. Um, anyways, Hunter Green, rookie card, purple refractor from Topps Chrome. Uh, not great. Eh, it's actually pretty good. Pretty good all around, honestly. Anyways, I thought it was a good deal. Paid, um, $1.11 for shipping. But, um, yeah, I was happy to pick this one up. So, that's probably the first, well, it's the second card I bought single. The first one was the Ellie Daler Cruz, um, Topps Now card. Today, I've got some more things to show you before we start ripping. I went to my first card show ever. And um, it's a two-day show, so I'm going to go back tomorrow. I'm going to take some more stuff. But I took um, some some Houston Astros stuff because I knew people would want that there. I also took some Texas Rangers stuff. Thought there might be somebody um, who would want to look at that stuff. So I'm going to show you first what I picked up. And, and I did some of this through trade, some of it through buying and selling. Um, so the first thing I did was I actually don't have... Um, I'll have to put it on the screen. I'll have to figure out what they were. I did a bad job of keeping track of what I took. I'll be able to figure it out because of my database, but I'll have to go backward, work backwards to figure it out. But I took um, I took a, a stack of Astros cards and um, I sold them for $20 to a guy who had a ton of Astros stuff. And then I took that 20 bucks and I bought this stuff. So it was essentially, this is essentially a trade. Um, I traded both Altuve Aqua Equinoxes from the Cosmic Chrome. Um, I think they're probably worth seven to $8. I traded the Black Border um, All-Star Game Adelis Garcia, and what was the last card? I think it was the Jose Abreu um, Aqua Equinox. I can't remember. I'll figure it out for sure, and I'll put it on the screen. But using that 20 bucks, I then picked up this Ellie De La Cruz uh, Bowman Prospects from this year, I think. I didn't pay these prices. I paid, I paid 20 bucks total. Um, I picked up this, um, shoot, what is this? Panini Mosaic 2022 Rookie of the Year, Jonathan India. Um, and then I picked up this Panini Prism TJ Friedel Rookie Autographs. Um, I prefer Topps cards, but hey, for the deal I got on this, I'm a huge Friedel fan. He's obviously one of the Reds' best players this year, towards the end. And then I also got this Nick Lodolo on card Topps 2022 Platinum Anniversary Auto, um, his rookie card. And... Um, Picking up all these for 20 bucks, that was a good deal. Um, if you want to assign a value, essentially, you know, I think I traded away about $20 in value and I got like 26 in return, maybe. Um, but regardless, you know, I, I traded some cards that I don't have a personal attachment to to cards that I do. I think mean, I'll probably hang on to most of these cards until I can get something equivalent or better. Like, you know, if I find a Friedel Auto on a, on a Topps card, like a licensed card, you know, then I'll either sell this or, you know, trade it for something else. Same thing with the mosaic one, um, but uh, anyways, that, that's that was kind of my my goal at the card shows to trade things that I don't have an attachment to, things I don't care about for things that I do. The second trade I did was I had some one dollar Houston Astros cards. Um, I think it was I, I don't remember how many. I think it was five to eight. Um, they were like chrome sepias, X fractors, things like that. Um, and, um, some guy traded me this SGC3, uh, Willie Stargell. I am trying to get into some more vintage stuff. Um, and I, I mean, I know this card's not worth 30 bucks, but it was worth, in my opinion, um, uh, more than what I traded for. So I think I probably traded away like seven to $8 worth of value into like, this is probably like 10 to 12. Uh, but more importantly, I'm probably going to hang on to this card until I find a better Willie Stargell to trade for. And then the third trade I did was with some Texas Rangers stuff and some Astros stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember what I traded for this, but um, I'll just wait and put them on the screen as um, I'm talking. Um, but it was some Corey Seager stuff. I think it was um, a Cosmic Chrome Star Clusters duplicate that I had. 
and maybe a Corey Seager Aqua Equinox or a Nuclear Nucleus Refactor. Anyways, I'll for sure put them on the screen. And then um, in return, I picked up this Skybox Thunder uh, Alex Rodriguez. This guy was a big Rangers fan. He had tons of old Rangers stuff. Um, I picked up this. Uh, I believe this is a Nolan Ryan. This was from the... Um, he said it was from the 1991 National. Um, and so I thought this was really cool. I mean, I don't really have any Nolan Ryan cards. And, um, you know, it's got bugs but I, I thought it was pretty neat. So I picked that up. Um, and then also a Chipper Jones rookie card. Uh, or a top prospect card. I don't know if this is the actual rookie. Um, all of these were in a $5 box. So the cards that I put on the screen, um, you know, this was essentially like a $20 value trade. He said he would pay 18 bucks in cash. Um, but I, I got four of these cards instead. So the Chipper Jones there. And then um, also uh, Pudge Rodriguez here. Um, I thought this was a pretty cool card. This is a Fleer 92 Ivan Rodriguez for the Rangers. Um, pretty neat looking card. And I, I don't have any. It says 12 of 20. So, you know, I don't really know what that means for Fleer. I'll have to look more into it. But, you know, it's probably... I think all of these cards would probably sell on eBay for 5 bucks or so. And I think I got a slightly better deal um, out of it. But... Um, more importantly, I got cards that I like that I'm going to hang on to, um, you know, until I find an equivalent one or better. And then the last thing from the card show is I actually did purchase a card outright, and it's one I've had my eye on for a while. I don't really care about grading companies. Um, I didn't specifically go out and look for an SGC or an A or whatever. Um, I just really wanted the FF error card, and um, I bought the first one I saw. I mean, looking back, I probably should have been a little bit more patient. I probably could have got it cheaper on eBay, but um, that's okay because... You know, it's in my hand now. I get to hold it. It's in great condition. You know, I showed a couple people they were interested in it, and they, they couldn't believe it got an 8, actually. They thought maybe it should be higher than that. But um, I'm happy with this one. I'm not going to sell it, you know. And maybe I didn't get the best deal on it, but um, it makes me happy, and I'm glad that I found it. So um, I was telling my friends and my wife that I can't wait to buy this card. So, um, And if you're not familiar with the FFR, if you can see closely uh, why it's called the FFR. So anyways... Um, Today was day one of the show, and I'm going to be going back tomorrow. I'm going to be taking some more things to try and find some more trades and things like that. But, uh, yeah, so a pretty, pretty, pretty good uh, show, and, show and tell this uh, this evening. A little bit late in the day. Let's go ahead and get into this 2023 Topps Cosmic Chrome Hobby Box. I actually might need to pause for a second and um, find something to drink. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, so while I'm opening up these packs, let's uh, talk some baseball. I believe the... Astros and the Rangers played the first game last night, and it was another good game. Obviously, you probably heard about the benches clearing brawl. Um, Abreu pitching for the Astros. I mean, I don't care what you say. He definitely got him intentionally. Uh, Adolis Garcia. Adolis Garcia had hit a homer, and then, I mean, he he stared it down. He, was, he walked almost all the way to first base before he finally dropped his bat or flipped it or whatever. And... Um, you know, the, the pitcher didn't like it. And so the next time he was up, uh, you know, stupid loud car, uh, he got he got hit. And it cleared the benches. Um, the, Abreu, the pitcher, was ejected. Adolis Garcia was ejected. He he turned on the catcher really quick. I actually thought they were going to throw blows. And uh, Adolis Garcia is a scary-looking dude, if I may say so. Um, he's probably not somebody I'm going to throw at intentionally. Um, but then also Dusty Baker, you know, I don't know if he was trying to fire his guys up or if he was actually mad. Um, I don't think it was um, even in question that they were going to eject Abreu, but they ended up ejecting Garcia as well. Um, but then, you know, Dusty got into it with the crew, and they ejected him too, and he refused to leave the bench. Uh, but in the end, um, it was it was a great game, and Altuve hits, you know, the one of the biggest home runs of his career. Three-run home run. Um, I don't remember what inning it was. It was either the 8th or the ninth, uh, to make it 5-4 to four Astros, and Astros walk away with the wind. So... You know, it was another good game. Astros lead the series 3-2. to two. There's um, no AL uh, CS tonight. Um, they'll be back tomorrow for game number 6. And then last night, it was uh, Philly at Arizona. And Philly looked like they were going to sweep this series, honestly. But, um, oh, I just, saw, I just saw a little sneak peek right there. I'm pretty excited for it. We'll see if it's as good as I hope it is. Um, but, yeah... We'll, I'll talk more about the Arizona game um, after I rip this half of the pack. So I'm going to have more packs to open. But let's get these flipped over and see what we got. All right. Here we go. 
We've got a Nick Castellanos for the Phillies. Here's a Marcus Simeon. Here's a Vlad Jr. launched into orbit. You know how I feel about these inserts. Here's an Aaron Judge, an Edwin Diaz, John Carlos Stanton. Here's another Astros Star Clusters. I think I traded one of these today. Oh, no, it's not Astros. This is a multiplayer. Oh, this is Atlanta. What's wrong with me? Where did I read any Astros at? I guess I just saw the colors. <laughs> Anyways, that's cool. We got a Garrett Mitchell, Jose Ramirez. Here's our first number card. We're going to throw that back there. Here's a Corbin Carroll, rookie card. Juan Soto, Francisco Lindor. Here's a Jazz Chisholm Jr. Extraterrestrial Talent. These are my favorite inserts. Can't wait till I'm done with this set. Here's an Oswaldo Cabrera, Bryce Harper. Here's the Nucleus Refractor, Tommy Edmond for the Cardinals. Here's another Refractor, Cody Bellinger for the Cubs. Tristan Casas, Yandy Diaz, Carlos Rodon. I think this might be a numbered card because I saw it earlier. I'm going to put it on the back just in case. And if it's not, no big deal. Here's Xander Bogarts, Nathaniel Lowe, Logan Webb, Chris Bryant, Kristen Yelich, Bryson Stott, Oscar Colas. Oh, maybe this was the numbered one. Oh, no. Okay, that's definitely the numbered one. Uh, well, let's see if I can get the other one back. I didn't see who it was, but I saw that it was a gold. There's Luis Garcia, Freddie Freeman. Here's the Shohei Extraterrestrial. I don't know if I have this one. I think I do, because that, that picture looks familiar. Wouldn't that be great if I got this in an auto? Here's another Star Clusters. This is Toronto Blue Jays. Here's a Glaber Torres for the Yankees. Jordan Groshans, rookie card. Lou Bob. Here's another Refractor, DJ LeMahieu. Max Freed. Tim Anderson. Okay. Josh Hader is the Aqua Equinox to 199 for the Padres. And then I don't... Yeah, one of these... No, it's not this next one. It's not this next one. Kyle Schwarber launched into orbit. Oh, let's put this on the stand. What am I doing? We'll just hang on to this for a second. Okay. Please tell me this gold is an auto, too. It's not. It's a John Carlos Stanton gold launched into orbit. This should be out of 50. Yep. 15 of 50. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's definitely better than the hater. Okay, let's get into the second half, and we'll talk about the Diamondbacks game. Um, I don't remember what the final score was, actually. I know that Arizona won by one um, off of an Alec Thomas home run in the eighth, I believe. And um, then they got the last three outs in the top of the ninth. So um, when it was looking like it was going to be a Phillies win, um, one swing of the bat changes the whole thing. I didn't actually look at the box score, so um, I only remember off what I was watching the game. Um, but I, I know it was another good game. You always love a good postseason game. And, you know, except for the first two in Philly, um, both of the CS games have been pretty good. Um, well, not the games. Um, I meant the, um, the series. So, you know... It looked like the Rangers were going to dominate the Astros, but then the Astros come back. You love a good series like that. We'll be interested to see what happens when they come back to Houston, if Houston can figure out how to win at home finally. And, you know, they're one game away from making it to the World Series and potentially winning it for a second year in a row. So I'm um, still rooting for the Rangers over the, the Astros, and I am still rooting for the Diamondbacks. So I would love to see a Diamondbacks versus uh, Rangers World Series, but we'll see. Um, they got one more game in Arizona, and then uh, no matter what, they're going back to Philly. So um, it's going to be a tough, tough environment once they get back for the Diamondbacks. I also have been, um, I've been opening a lot of uh, wax this weekend. And you haven't seen all these videos because I'm creating a backlog of videos um, for where I'm going to be gone over the holidays and uh, also on vacation. So um, they're videos that I filmed. You'll see them eventually. Um, I just don't know when. So look out for those. And, um, you know, you might see some sneak peeks of what I got. Okay, here's the second half of the hobby box. Thanks for hanging in there today. It's a little bit of a longer one. Tommy Henry rookie card for the D-backs. Will Benson rookie card. Here's a Yankees star clusters. Here's a Mike Trout. Drew Waters rookie. Javier Assad. Oh, whoa! Oh, 
Holy smokes, guys. Look at this one. This is a great hit right here. Wow. No autos guaranteed in this product, but that doesn't mean they're not there. And this is a nice rookie auto for the Boston Red Sox. Tristan Casas, numbered to 99. This is a fantastic rip. Look at that. I wasn't even ready for it. Usually I'm trying to hide them, but uh, that one just jumped right out at me. I wasn't prepared. Holy smokes. Let's take a better look at this thing. This is a uh, green space dust. I don't know if I have a green yet or not. And uh, that's a beautiful auto. I mean, some of these young guys, they just don't really have autos. And this one's on card. Tristan Casas, rookie for the Red Sox. 22 of 75. What's his jersey number? Potential jersey match. We'll have to look that up. Fantastic. You love to see it. Super happy for that one. Okay. Let's keep going. There's going to probably be at least... Eh, maybe not. That actually might be all the hits. We'll see. Ezekiel Tovar, rookie. Trey Mancini, Charlie Blackman, Matt Mervis, rookie, Jacob DeGrom, Paul Goldschmidt, Ahmad Rosario. Here's the Gunnar Henderson extraterrestrial talent. I don't think I have this one, so that's pretty nice. Here's Ronald Acuna, Nestor Cortez. Here's a Shohei. Here's uh, another multi-team. Harper, Judge, and Betts, superstars on the Star Clusters. Here's a Raphael Devers, Josh Young, rookie, Mark Vientos, rookie. Gunnar Henderson, rookie. James Outman, rookie. Ryan Nelson, rookie. Lots of rookies. Clayton Kershaw. Here we go. Here's the stars of the night. There's been one of these in every hobby box that I've opened, I'm, I think. These are so hard to get good centering on. This one is really thick on the right. Um, they've all been kind of like that. I think the I think I have one good one that's got good centering. But... Anyways, I, I like those. That's another great insert. It's, that one's super popular. It's also popular with me. I'll be collecting all of the inserts for Cosmic Chrome. Here's a Reed Detmers, Corey Seager, CJ Abrams. Here's a um, Padres insert. Star Clusters Volpe rookie card. Mount Castle, Alejandro Kirk, Kyle Schwarber extraterrestrial talent. Ty France, Christian Javier, Grayson Rodriguez, Mike Yastrzemski, and a Tyler Freeman rookie card to round out the pack. Not too bad. But yeah, this was this was a good one, man. The Tristan Casas green rookie to 99. That's a great hit. That's a good one. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this rip, I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out for all of the extra stuff, too. If you have any tips for me about card shows, throw them in the comments. We'd love to read them and learn some more about the hobby in general. But I really appreciate you being here and watching. Please don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought of what I got. And uh, hit the follow and or subscribe button if you haven't. It's free. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.